So if you've been subscribed to this channel for a long time, then you would know that I have done some photoshopping here and there. I did photoshops of Iron Mouse, I created a realistic version of many VTubers, and I did photoshop on the Trash Taste members. Well, I really wanted to get away from this because I wanted to be more anime centric, but um, this new AI has come out for Photoshop Beta, and I have Photoshop beta and I've been testing it with friends and frankly it's hilarious. And I as a weeb obviously thought what better way to use it than to Photoshop the top celebrities into anime characters. Now obviously as a weeb I know a lot of anime characters however when it comes to celebrities I'm not that interested in many things so I don't know the most searched celebrities so this list will kind of help me out in search of celebrities. So first up we got Taylor Swift and I thought, hmm, celebrities, what could we do with Taylor Swift? Well, you see, Oshinoko is kind of airing right now and I has been on the rise, which, <laughs> I don't know, I, I'm kind of curious about that. I, I want to see Taylor Swift as I, so let's, let's try to do this. So I'm gonna quickly search the pictures and then we can go on. Okay, so funnily enough, um, I did find pictures of Taylor Swift and I, and I recorded them and edited them. And they came out uh, quite weird, <laughs> but I didn't record. I only recorded my face cam. But I thought instead of throwing it all away, let's maybe get bit by bit through um, what the AI did. So um, before I'll show you the results of my uh, Oshinokoification for Taylor Swift, <laughs> let's first get to know what the AI does. For example, here I uh, made her eyes pink like I had. And for that I just need to select AI and then there's this tool generate fill. And here I can type whatever I want it to generate. For example, if I want her eyes to become pink eyes, then I write I. Uh, for example, this, I think it, she, it did a pretty good job uh, at creating eyes. Um, I think her eyes before were a bit more weird. And now that you know what the AI did, let me show you what I came up with. Now, obviously, the AI didn't create a perfect Oshinoko cosplay for Taylor, um, but it did its best. And I could modify the AI in various ways to make it look more realistic, but this video isn't about it. I really want to see how far the AI can be pushed without my intervention. Let's see what it did, because on the hairs, man, it was a struggle. So for every layer, I'll show you it's a separate command. So I did quite a lot of work on the hair, as you can see. Um, but it eventually found its way. I had to uh, delete many layers. <laughs> Here you got my eyes, the serial killer eyes, as I like to call them, because they kind of turned out small. Then <laughs> this is where things started to become a bit more uh, funny. So I tried to do idle uniforms. Obviously, it didn't quite find it. But I found this because this I, I typed in school uniforms, and this is what came up with because it's. The most similar to idle uniforms, weirdly. Yeah, uh, then I added um, the microphone and I started to notice, man, Taylor looks an awfully lot like a McDonald's manager here, like someone who would take your order at the drive-thru and, and you know. I added a tie and uh, the ribbon and I removed the background and it kind of gave her a second mic, but I, I can't figure out how to get it away because every time I try to fill it with the background, it kind of ends up doing something else. And yeah, this is the closest I've come to get eye. Um, you know, it's not perfect, but imagine this AI paired with a skilled photoshopper, a, a skilled artist in the Photoshop industry, you know. But now let's create something else, um, someone more popular and it's Elon Musk. Now, I myself, I'm not a big Elon Musk fan because, I mean, I've seen what he did with Twitter, but I think kind of looks like, uh, you know, he kind of would need a bit of Lloyd Forger in him. So we'll try to turn him into a spy. Let's see if we can give him a nice hat. So um, what if we write um, beige hat? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why, but it put in a bit too much. Um, <laughs> let's try if it finds it with a bit more info. Here you go. Let's go. I mean, it's a bit large, but um, I mean, yeah, it works. Then let's replace his suit. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> 
It replaced his whole form. Okay, I think this is the most accurate suit. Let's try to generate uh, again because you can generate as many as you want. Okay, this... Oh my god. Okay, I think I'll go with this suit. Let's go with this one. Make his tie red. We are almost done here. It kind of looks good. We just need... Yeah, we just need to add the red tie and the black gloves. Yeah, oh my god, this is perfect. Then add the black gloves. And, and that's it. His eyes are already kind of greenish. Or is it blue? Maybe we need to change the eyes to green as well. Oh my god, perfect. Okay, it works so well. Okay, his neck is kind of, you know, it, it looks more like an animal than a human. Uh, but I, I think, you know, Elon has that animal in him. So it, it fits. Let's just uh, change the hair. Oh my god, it looks so fucking good. I can't believe it. This went way better than expected. Holy shit! Okay, it's 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 honestly it's perfect. I, I'm I'm satisfied. I won't I won't ask you anything again, Mr. AI. Oh my god! The, the only thing, yeah, maybe let's remove this. But here you go. Okay, this. Honestly, this was insane. This 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 is great. Holy shit! <laughs> okay, okay. Let's uh let's see if we can get um another celebrity here. Obviously, it wouldn't be a good YouTube video about celebrities without Mr. Breast. And I think the best candidate for Mr. Breast here is uh Monkey D. Luffy, which uh. I, I don't know. I kind of wanted to see what uh, Monkey D. Luffy as a YouTuber would be. So yeah, let's give him um, his iconic straw hat. Which also, I think I saw Mr. Breast um, have a straw hat on. Straw hat. Yeah, he, he uses his he uses some straw hats, so he kind of has that pirate in him, you know? Okay, <laughs> okay maybe he needs a bigger one. Um, this could be a bit more difficult than the Deloitte one for sure. Oh, here you go. Dude, this is perfect. Well, let's get rid of the beard first. I think that's our priority. I don't know what to write here. Um, beardless chin. Um, what would happen if we just type in shave? Maybe, maybe it will shave. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh my. You can't do this. You can't do this to my man. Come on, stop it. Okay, you know what? We could work with this. And I might just intervene here. I'm just going to give Mr. Beast his mouth back. We can work with this. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> Not really, but let's try it. Red long sleeve. Uh, shirt? Let's see what it does. I think this one is pretty simple. I mean, if it got the whole suit right, then it should know that this is just the upper part okay he looks like santa claus what the fuck let's make him shirtless oh it violates guidelines i don't know why <laughs> okay this is probably as uh <laughs> this is as far as we can go maybe give him longer black hair yeah let's give him black hair again let's try that one okay so i think this is the best we can come up with now this you know, I think it's better. <laughs> I think this is by far the worst. Honestly, this is this was nowhere near. I'ma admit that. Um, Mr. Beast, kind of okay. And Elon Musk. Oh man, oh man, Elon Musk. That was mwah, mwah. okay. So what would I rate the AI? Honestly, it is really inconsistent at this point. Really depends on what you want to do but you need to remember this is a very very niche and specific use for this ai and um, because usually you don't really do this instead you use it in the graphic industry and maybe you know um try to edit a bench somewhere in which is much more feasible instead of making generating cosplays with it with weird colors as you know in anime so for that purpose though it's inconsistent i think it did a great job Honestly, props to Adobe, and you need to remember this is still just in beta, um, so we might get a bit more tweaks and it might be even better in the future. So thank you so much for watching, I'll end this video here, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!